I'm just going to fill this um, wheelbarrow up about halfway with dirt, the other half with water. I'm going to mix it together and make a nice soup, get the solids off of the top, and after it sits for about a minute, I'm going to pour everything into this bucket. And we should just have clay dissolved in water and leave behind all the rocks and dirt and sand and the stuff that we don't want. sure to pour off the top layer of liquid but leave the solids behind. That's all the stuff that you don't want. Pouring this into a pillowcase that's been ripped open and there's kind of a border of rocks around it so that it doesn't leak out. The water will slowly seep through the pillowcase and leave behind only the clay. Now I only have two pillowcases on hand. You could easily refill uh, this wheelbarrow with water. You could probably do a five or six times yield uh, compared to what I've done by simply having more pillowcases and more uh, places to hang everything up.
have some leftovers, I'm going to pour them into this pillowcase, it's whole, and then we'll tie it up, and we're going to leave all of this stuff out to dry for a few days. I like my clay to get completely bone dry. It makes it much easier to mix a 4 to 1 ratio of clay to temper. That concludes part one. Part two. We will go over mixing uh, this dried clay with temper, re-moisturizing it and forming uh, a piece, a couple pieces of pottery. And then in part three, we will fire it. <laughs>